This is one of my favorite pictures because to build an identity, you need to know that people like you can succeed. Then you can identify, ah, I'm a scholar now because people like me succeed, can succeed. So at Krellen, they role model for these kids, but they bring in outsiders that are like scientists and, and people that are exciting to these kids. So they go, oh, I want to be a scientist. That's how it works. And they're sometimes very explicit about the identity that they want these kids to embrace. And they do embrace it, and they're proud of it. Kids in my kids' school would think that this is totally corny. I will never wear that shirt, Dad. But at Krellen, they're just like, I love my school. Jaime Escalante got his students to identify with mathematics by informing them something they didn't know about their social identity. They were Latino kids, and he said, so you don't know your own history, do you? Your ancestors invented mathematics. Now live up to your legacy. That's powerful stuff. Everybody wants to be part of a triumphant story, and at Krellen, to be a Krellen kid means that they're some part of something very special, some, some place that went from low to high, and that keeps winning awards, and that when you hear the word Krellen now, it's not a slur. It's a badge of honor. All that happened in four years. And so I do this now with all my students. I get them to do good things and I take pictures of them. When we see ourselves doing something in a picture, talking to a baby, being nice to someone, achieving something, it's more powerful than just doing the thing. Because now you see yourself the way other people see you. And if you saw these kids, you'd go, oh, those are nice kids. They're delivering food to the homeless. Those are nice kids. Those are smart kids. They're doing science. But we don't see ourselves that way. So you take a picture of these kids doing great things, and then you put those pictures up on the wall, and you attach it to Krellen kids, identity formation. That means when your identity is congruent with achievement, Difficulty signals to you psychologically that you're having a meaningful experience. When your identity is incongruent with achievement, for example, in, in New York, African-American students are not considered by sight to be the great scholars. So when your group identity is inconsistent with achievement, difficulty signals to you psychologically, hey, I may not belong here. It's a powerful difference, and it's all about identity. So creating an identity for these kids is really important. 